Well, the first part to building this paper patio was digging. So my wife dug 99.9% .9 of it out while I was at work, but I had to get some on video. So here I am digging my 0.1% out. And there were a couple of uh, big stones that we had to dig out that were supports for the old deck. So those had to come out too. But here it is done. After about seven hours of digging, the whole thing was done and it created a lot of dirt. You can see the dirt here all the way from our fence, all the way down the first half of our backyard along the side fence. And the next day things showed up, got some paper base and some paper stones, but it rained. So we had to postpone getting started until the next day when it was time to get to work. So it was a lot of trips back and forth from the driveway over to the deck. Tiring work, but you know, little bit by little bit and we got it done. Really, it's only about, I don't know, 50 feet from the driveway over to the deck. So it wasn't too far. It was just a little hard to pull in the grass. So the first thing to do was to dig a trench. I dug the trench all the way from the left side of the patio to the right. Now this thing is gonna be about 20 feet long. We ended up at 19 feet, but why am I digging the trench? Well, I wanted to put some edging down because we wanted about uh, one foot from the house to the back of the paper patio to be plants. So we left um, some space for soil and I wanted there to be some separation between the paper base and the soil which is why we put this down. Basically just try to keep it the same distance from the house all the way down and try to keep it level above the ground. So we had about 60 bags of paper base. And really this part, you know, it didn't take an insanely long amount of time. There was just a lot of lifting bags and traveling back and forth and my forearms were a little sore the next day but you know we got it done so i mainly carried the bags back and forth and my wife would open the bags and get the paper base put out i tried to do some tamping you know, i wasn't really that satisfied with with the results of that so we decided to go ahead and get started we ended up laying one entire row of pavers down until we just weren't satisfied with how lumpy they looked. So we took them all back up and we used a two by four, which is something I had seen on other videos to try to level things out. And this worked really well. We could see the low spots. Like here, you can see the light under the two by four. We would add paper base and then go back and flatten things out. So once we were satisfied with this portion of the paper base, we laid the first row back down. and then started up on the next row. And just kept going and going until it was too late to keep going. We had to put the kids to bed and stuff like that. So this was the result of day one. All the paper base put down and this many paper stones. And the next day I had to work. So my wife transported a lot of the paper stones over and went to the store and got some plants. You see we got some caladiums, some hosta, some begonias. So all there was to do at this point was just to continue laying paper stones down. We were actually able to finish the entire thing the second day. So I want to let you hear my kids coming up on this next part because I told them to not talk because I was recording and they were all sitting on the staircase watching me finish. That was my normal speed, by the way. I just was making sure those things were tamped down. Here it is. Listen. You doing? Who died? Okay. I just thought that was too Check cute to take out. Check it out. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? I'm looking at it and I can't believe it. Now there's supposed to be a slope from this side to this side so that the water can run off. And I think we got that angle almost not even close so it doesn't look you know it's not perfect but we didn't come into this thinking it would be perfect we're not experts 
we just jumped into the project and we started doing it. So it's absolutely not perfect, but we love it and it's going to be a great space for us. So what's left is we got to put some, I'm going to put some leveling sand on top and we're going to broom it and let it get into the cracks and really lock those pavers into place. Because right now, if you kind of walk around, you can feel them touching each other and kind of shifting just a little bit. So I think that leveling sand will lock them in. And then my wife's going to plant all these plants on the back. I think it's going to look pretty good. And then we're going to kind of mulch around here. So let's get that sand on here. I don't really know how much to put down. I'm just laying it. We're going to brew it. Well, I can't believe it, but we're actually done after two or three hard days of work. Um, tiring days, I should say. It wasn't really completely hard and as difficult as I thought it would be. It was just a lot of hard work. It was going to be 20 feet long, but we ended up stopping short just to be able to fit some stepping stones. Those stepping stones uh, were huge and they came from underneath where we put the deck. They were the supports for the old deck, so, but they had to come out. So we ended up digging a spot for each one of those to make stepping stones. I uh, ended up putting mulch all the way around the whole deck, the stairs and everything, just to clean the area up a little bit because there was nothing but really dirt and just weeds. It looked kind of gross. But I put some river rock here where I'm standing uh, just to extend that out because this is kind of where the water comes out of the, out of the gutter and um, try to prevent some erosion. At the end of the day, we're really happy even though it wasn't completely perfect. Of course, if we would have hired somebody to do it, it would cost a lot of money. <laughs> And it would have been perfect, but uh, we decided to do it ourselves and, you know, we're better for it. We learned something. If we had to do it again, yeah, there's probably things we would change. Um, probably with uh, the leveling and, you know, you saw us using that 2 by 4 We might try to do a little bit better job with that. Um, and that is an absolute must-happen step. So doing the 2 by 4 really helped even it out a lot. Uh, maybe next time. I doubt there will be a next time, but if we ever do, you know, I may... Spend some more time trying to get that slope for drainage right. Um, it's definitely sloped, probably more than it needs to be, but no big deal. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm glad you stuck around to the end, and we'll see you next time. Bye.